Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo Titan run of this week's Prestige Nightfall, which is the Tree of Probabilities. What I'm using on this Nightfall is Arc Singe and Heavyweight, where heavy weapons do more damage and you drop more heavy ammo. I'm using the Better Devils, an Arc Mananum, yes, I finally got the Mananum, and an Arc Curtain Call, and the Lime Rampant. Before you come into the Nightfall, remember to rally a flag, and you'll come in with full heavy ammo. And when... when the strategy really is, you, you kind of go past as much as you can here. It's a 12 minute run, just a 12 and a half minute run. Really kind of quick run for a, for a non-speed run. It's very efficient, it's very repeatable. So when I come in, I go, I go to the right, I don't engage any enemies. I take out that turret and then I make it round to the big wall that you'll see me land on. I take out the two turrets, I wait. Sometimes the orange bar centurion will drop with the rest of the ads, in which case you just put a rocket on them. This time he dropped at the stairs, he was right up. I, might, I managed to move, maneuver myself into a position where I could take him with a rocket. One rocket will take him. Then if you take the two guys next to him, and then try and take, just put a grenade on on the, where the phalanxes are, it should open the door for you. Because I think that's the link, is two phalanxes, those two normal cabal that stand with him and him. I'd done it today. And I got through this first section and into the infinite forest in one minute twelve seconds. So that's that's that. The, the the infinite forest because it's so random. The only the only kind of ways that I, things I could say about it is if you don't have to bush jump, don't bush jump, because you just aggravate more enemies. If you think you can, you kind of have to judge the line rampant jump. It's over twice as long I think as a normal Titan run, maybe twice as long. You can make extraordinary distances. And the shoulder charge obviously gives you that little bit of distance on the end of it. Try and cut corners, you know, get to the, the next doorway as fast as possible. And then when you get to almost the end, I think there's there's an audio cue because they start saying stuff. Sagira and the ghosts start talking. And that lets you know you're really close to the end. If you if you don't have to access the last door, just make the, make the a jump right to the last section. There's a platform up to the left that I go on, take the four snipers, and then take the cabal out at will. If, if you get favourable RNG, you could take them all with, with your super. Now, while I'm going through the Infinite Forest, it gives me a minute to speak about the news that Bungie released uh, in the early hours of, of the morning for UK time. They've conf they, they have reports that the DFA wasn't dropping. The DFA is the hand cannon, the death from above, which is what it stands for, I believe. It wasn't dropping from the the nightfall. So they've investigated it and they found out that there is an issue where no strike specific loot from the base game or or Osiris is dropping. So the only two things that are dropping at the moment is the Braytech rocket launcher and whatever drops from the Will of a Thousand. Braytech rocket launcher drops from Nocris. So if you've been grinding this out and you're planning on grinding it over the weekend, don't until keep 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 your kind of keep your ear to the ground uh with bungee help and when they apply a fix then go but i, I think it's quite disappointing because it's the weapon that most people will want to grind for this time i certainly was wanting to grind for it this time i didn't last time i did want to do it this time i've done about uh, i don't even want to count how many runs i've done but uh there's no point in running for it anymore and the second thing I'd like to say is for everybody that supported the, the my video, last week my Hunter video got not uh, approved for Movie of the Week. And it was my Hunter Prestige solo with the Darcy. I think I was the first person to solo it with the Darcy. I'm saying that. I don't know if it was. I was just the first one that i seen. I'd seen a few others pop up after mine, but I was definitely the only one i seen at the time. And for everybody that voted for it, it really was quite humbling. I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully, I don't think I'll win it. I don't think I'll get. I don't think I'll get the emblem because there was another really good video last week. I think Bresco done a solo on the opening of the raid layer, the opening section. But to be fair, he's a brilliant player, really nice guy. But they've won it three weeks in a row. Give someone else a shot. <laughs> That's not quite the way it goes. But so thank you very much, everybody, for voting. It was. Showed a lot of love and I was really appreciative of it. So, the strategy at the end, I kind of... Because once you get through the Infinite Garden, apart from taking out two Scions snipers, which even though it's Arc Singe, they will still do 
too much damage to you so it's worth taking them out and they're just at the part you go through the infinite forest and you jump over you don't engage any of those ads you jump over it's on that track where you wouldn't normally call your spiral as soon as you go around the corner there's two scions round to the left take them out just don't even don't even play with them just take them out and then you can go on go on your merry way without worried about your your spiral blowing up so the strategy was i tried to work out a way to one phase the boss on the titan i know it's been done because easel done it with the accuracy but much the same as there's a way to bypass the last section of ads with jumping along the side of the wall it's just not repeatable enough for me i appreciate those strategies and i support them and i think they're awesome but they're not practical for the everyday player my guides are for the everyday player so even though i give the accuracy a go I was thinking, A, there might be some people who have watched this that don't have the accuracy, and B, not everybody's going to be able to crit consistently with it. So it wasn't viable f as far as guides go. But even though it wasn't viable, I gave it a go, and it still didn't seem to do the, So it didn't seem to do the damage that I seen it doing when I watched the Easels run. But then again, it's a different platform, and maybe... Maybe that's not the issue. Maybe the issue was it's a different platform, but his was a really kind of high light level. So that probably played a part. He probably was doing another 10, 15% damage on his shots compared to what I was doing with mine. So with the weapon set or just normal rocket set up and Fist of Havoc and all the rest of it, I could have used Shoulder Charge, and but I, I didn't think I'd be able to one-phase him. And it turned out I couldn't one-phase him. So... You take about two and a half bars, just about that, two and a half bars of his health down. Now, admittedly, it's something I don't like admitting, in the very last section, I missed a rocket, so I died at the last section at the same time. I, I killed him, and then I jumped away and, and died. I think it might have been the lasers. I'm not quite sure what killed me. I missed w the rocket because he moved to position when I fired it, and I expected him to run straight at me. If I'd have hit the rocket... Those the rockets at the end would have took him. I would never have needed to jump away or throw grenades. So, if you're now that you've seen this strategy when when it does finish, now you see the strategy. Now you know if you hit the six rockets to start with and the three rockets at the end, it will kill him. So that is that is the strategy. Put you both as soon as you get into the room, you're on top of the pillar, two grenades, six rockets, bang. You've still got to kill the Minotaurs. Even if you one phase them, you've still got to kill the Minotaurs. You'll see the way I do the second Minotaur. It's it's a it's quite an easy way to do it. But this section here, you can bypass it. And like I said, I don't think it's repeatable because not everybody has that level of jumping skill. So it's Arc Singe. The Cabal have got Arc Shotguns. Just keep your distance and plug away. Keep your eye on your... Keep your eye on your energy ammo because if you've got an, uh, solar, uh, a solar, an arc energy weapon, if you've got something like the Mananan, or just if you've got the Mananan, its explosive rounds damage the adds within their shield. So you'll see the shield's going down, but the health is going down at the same time. Better Devils does that. It doesn't do anything to the shield, but takes the health down inside the shield. So you can just Better Devils them. It's almost a clip to take down a shielded enemy. So... There's something. I knew I was going to get more heavy ammo. I went in with full heavy, like I said at the start. Just rally the flag before you go into the nightfall. So I knew I could waste one because even if I didn't get any from these ads, which I was lucky enough I did, I would have got one from the orange kind of butcher cabal, the two kind of two-bladed cabal that charges you. So I knew I was going to get another brick at least. So kind of just keep your distance and plug away at these ads and when the next set of ads drop down make sure you take the sniper when as soon as you're free to take the sniper but don't push the ads because if two or three of their shotguns hit you at the same time it's over even from the range where that i'm firing at them from because it happened to me and i'm what 371 372 373 something like that i am with with the weapons on i've got um 375 on this character but they will, if three of them hit you at the same time, it's over. So it's not worth pushing them. Just keep an eye on your energy ammo and just plug away. Because once you get inside here, you're not going to need your energy ammo. It's primary you're going to need once you drop down into the boss room. So as you can see, anytime I feel like I'm getting pushed or anytime they're getting a little, just a little bit 
a, a little bit keen, I just back away a little bit. There's no point. There's no point. You're, you're very close to the end. There's no point in pushing it for the sake of 30 seconds extra time. If we were speed running, then time would be an issue. I'm not a speed runner. Time isn't an issue. But I want to do it efficiently. Um, I don't want... Here's a video. I've done the solo prestige in 45 minutes. Who's going to want to watch that? <laughs> so I do want to do it efficiently, but that's about it. So what I do when I come into the room is I always drop down into the room. It's too easy for the cabal to all focus fire you when you're standing on that ledge. At least if you come here, as you can see, one of them did push around and try and be a little bit sneaky, get shots from the right. But I have enough cover that I can, I can handle that, I can manage that. Now, they've got cover as well, but you have to remember, whenever an enemy's got cover, you've got cover. Because if they go into cover, you're not getting shot. So up onto this pillar, this is where we're going to do the damage. Up onto this pillar, back left hand side, put your rally barricade down, drop two grenades, and then pop off all your rockets. You'll see at one point here, I duck down and I stay down just a little bit too long. The reason I stayed down was because this was my first run attempt in this strategy. I didn't know whether he would actually be able to blast me off that back left hand corner. A friend of mine done the strategy. I don't like copying strategies, but this seemed really, really too good to miss. Uh, I'd seen a few of my friends do it, Hitman, Shablo, and it just seemed like too easy a strategy to not try. So that's what to do. He will then go away, and now he's immune until the final room. All you have to do to get to him, to put the last bit of damage on him, is to kill the Minotaurs. You don't have to kill the ads, but this room is so compact and so claustrophobic that it's worth just killing them all. If you've got your super, why wouldn't you? I should have charged that harpy to get the grenade energy that you get for damaging enemies with aftermath. So as you can see, when we go into this next room, he's not there. He wants nothing to do. In fact, if he could get a taxi and go home, he probably would at this point. What I do here is take out the snipers. Uh, take out the snipers. Take out the cabal guy that's kind of pushing me. I always call them cabal guys. <laughs> You guys know what I mean, right? And then I go up. He's busy. Grenade. Rocket. Because I know I'll get that rocket back. And then I'm going to put down my rally barricade. Which will get keep me safe. And obviously I can just keep firing at them. Your better devils will always do massive damage. I was quite surprised at how much damage actually these harpies done to me as I was going out this door. I think I I think I think gave them my, my, my view on what they were doing. <laughs> no. You're not, you're not going to kill me. Shoot me in the back. Typical Vex. So when you go up into here, you're looking to finish him now. I've got my rally barricade. I've got a grenade should I need it. So go straight up onto the platform. Move over to the left a little bit. Get the, the rally barricade up. Now as you can see, I thought I had that on dead on that first rocket, but I didn't. If I'd have hit all three rockets, he'd have been dead. I wouldn't have died. I'm posting it because it's a... I think it's a pretty fast time for a, a Titan run where you're, you know, I think it's pretty good. So that is the video, guys. So take away from this video that A, you can't drop the DFA. So there's no point in grinding for it. And B, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Any comments, any questions you want, just leave them in the comment section. I'll answer as many as I can. Thank you very much for watching, guys. You take care of yourselves and I'll see you in the next video.